three explosions ripped through Brussels airport on Tuesday during the morning rush hour as hundreds of passengers were trying to check in. Airport authorities said the explosions caused several injuries. News reaching us indicates that at least 23 people may be dead. The death toll, though, is expected to rise as rescue efforts continue. Passengers were led onto the tarmac and the crisis centre urged people not to come to the airport. The explosions happened only days after the prime suspect in the Paris attacks, Salah Abdel Salam, was arrested in Brussels. Well, let's bring you more now on this developing story. We're joined by, uh, by CCTV's Jack Parrock live for us in Brussels. Jack, of course, it seems that a lot is unfolding as we speak. Just to give us an update on the latest with regards to these attacks in Brussels. Well, indeed. So now we are starting to hear that potentially 23 people were killed at the airport. The other attack here in the uh, European district of Brussels at Malbec Station, which is around uh, 800 metres that way, very close to where I am right now. It's believed no one was killed during that attack as a train pulled into a metro station and, and an explosion happened there. I have to apologise for this uh, landline telephone that I'm using to hear you on. At the moment, mobile phone signals are down as this uh, terror attack unfolds on the city of Brussels. And of course, uh, Jack, at this point, you know, we've been hearing already that some um, have been rather quick to label this as a terror attack. But at this point, is there any indication that this is indeed the case? And has anyone claimed responsibility? At the moment, we haven't seen anyone claim responsibility, but I think this uh, set of attacks bears the hallmarks of a terror attack. I don't, I don't think there's any doubt that that has, uh, will, will be uh, what's happened. Dep we don't know who's going to claim those attacks, obviously, but it's, there's been some chaotic scenes on the streets of Brussels, people running away from that train station, incredibly nervous. A very, very good friend of mine was on that train uh, that pulled into the Malbec station and he said it was extremely scary, obviously, as the explosion happened and the people on his carriage managed to break open the door of their metro and escape. Uh, but obviously, uh, this is a very, uh, an attack very close to home for those of us who live in this city of Brussels. Absolutely. And as you say, chaotic scenes and, of course, uh, no doubt, a climate of fear and concern. Um, Jack, is there a sense or concern that there might be more attacks, not only in Belgium, but perhaps in other countries? Of course, yeah. I mean, the, the city here, Brussels, is very, very much on edge. I just heard a, a big uh, a series of cars and security car forces pass underneath me just here now. So assuming that they're carrying on some sort of operations. We've heard that the French uh, uh, capital is on high terror alert as well. And the UK Prime Minister, David Cameron, he has called a uh, emergency meeting of the COBRA uh, a group of his government ministers, which is the highest security force that they have uh, there in the UK. Well, thank you so much, Jack Parrick. Do stay safe. And of course, uh, we do appreciate these updates coming live for us now uh, in Brussels.